What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday, and today, once again, we are looking at Hippowdon. But this time around, it is for Standard. Now, for some reason, nobody's really playing Hippowdon in Standard, and I don't understand why. Maybe it's because people are scared of Vespa Queen. Um, that's a very, very scary deck for sure. But this, I will show you how to be Vespa Queen with this deck here and show you all the little combos that we have here. Now, if you don't know Hippowdon, it's probably one of my favorite cards uh, because it's so much fun to play here. Uh, Resistance Desert does 60 during your opponent's next turn. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. Now, this is just like the, re the red dice we have out now. Instead of Resistance Desert, it re it's Resistance Blizzard. But I like I like Hippowdon more because you have a lot of different tech cards you can play with it. And we'll go over that here in a second. And also, you do have Double Edge, which does 100 damage, 22 itself. But uh, use as a game finish if you want to. So make sure make, make sure to remember, no EX Pokemon can hurt Hippowdon after you use Resistance Desert, which is amazing here. Um, so they have to use 90 EX attackers or Life Center around it. Now we do play 3 Hot Lucha here. It does have Free Retreat here. Shining Spirit uh, makes it where it's not affected by weakness or resistance. Flying Press does 60 if your opponent's active Pokemon isn't a Pokemon EX. This attack does nothing. Uh, this is just to help you early game if you don't if you like uh, want to attack Hot Lucha early. Maybe put a Focus Sash on it and start using Flying Press early. Start pressuring the EXs while you can, while they're setting, in, setting up, which is great. We only play one Shaman here, which is as, as the same amount we played as the Worlds, if I remember correctly. I just help you set up to draw six cards in your hand here. It's basically like a very early game. You don't want to play this late game because they can just light center up, take a knockout on it. So you do want to play this like early game, and uh, maybe they'll have to worry about the hip pylons more than your shamans. And if they do focus on your shamans, then your hip pylons are okay, uh, which is cool there. Now. We do play a 1-1 one, one Flare online, so this way we make the Hippowdon a fire type. Now, if you notice, Hippowdon does 60, which is not enough to knock out a Vespa Queen, obviously. They have 100 HP, 90 HP, I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head here. But once you are a fire type, you can use Resistance Desert to one-shot a, Ves a Vespa Queen there because you are a fire type, which is great. And that is how we are going to beat the Vespa Queen decks here. Now, we still play the Size of Toad, and we play the Size of Toads because of Quake a Punch. Obviously, you can't, your opponent can't play any item cards, but what you want to do is early game, you want to start Toad. You want to attach a DC on it, and you want to Quake a Punch, and you want to Quake a Punch, and you want to Quake a Punch. And while you're doing this, you're going to set up uh, Hippowdons on the bench. Uh, you're going to like set up two Hippowdons with Focus Sash there, so that way when they do knock out the Size of Toad, you have two fully loaded Hippowdons ready to go there. Um, Quake a Punch is still a very strong card and standard, and then it's probably a card to always look out for. And that's all the Pokemon you play in here. There's 14 of them, 3-3 uh, three, three Lion, 3 Hawlucha, 1-1 one, one Flareon, 2 Toad, and 1 Shaman. Now we do play two enhanced hammer, discard a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And this is to help out against the Night March and Vespa Queen matchup once again. Um, if you, like, let's say your opponent gets out two DCs on, on two Vespa Queens, right? Um, next turn you set up a Hippowdon, take a knockout, but you can also play enhanced hammer on the bench Vespa Queen. Taking out two DCEs there, which is great. And also you have another one ready to go if you need be. Uh, hand Hammer is really great. You can use the discard, like, basically you're using the discard double colors energies. Uh, you could discard strong energies. Uh, there's so many different uh, uh, special energy types in this game. Hand Hammer is always a great card in this deck. One Professor Letter, so that way you can Karina for a Professor Letter and a Pokemon to search for two fighting energies if you don't have any energy in your hand. This deck did play Computer Search in uh, Expanded or in like last year's format to help search out for DCEs and uh, you know fighting energies and strong energies but we had to use Professor Letter now to search out energies to switch just in case somebody does get like center up and Toad has a 3 retreat cost, Hippodon has a 4 retreat cost, it's a pretty retreat cost heavy deck so the 2 switches are needed. 2 Ultra Ball and the reason why I play the 2 Ultra Ball is because we can Karina for all these Pokemon and you just need the Ultra Ball for maybe the Eevee, Flareon, Shaman or the Toad depending on the situation. Or VS Secret to use supporters. Now we do play one Ace Trainer. This is probably the most questionable card in the deck. I might end up cutting this here. But if they take early prizes on Haluchas or Hippo Hippo Potatoes, they can you can put it down to three while you still get six cards here. So it's something to think about. I'm not sure how great it is, um, especially since we don't play Battle Compressor. Maybe cut something for a Battle Compressor so that way you can discard an Ace Trainer turn one. For Karina here, this is your main uh, resource here. Search check for a fighting Pokemon and an item card. Reveal them and put it into your hand here. 
Now, like I said, in last format, we did have computer search to out DCEs. Hopefully, with this time around, you just have to careen it for an ultra ball to get out Shaman, uh, maybe draw into what you need to. Now, you just want to start with the turn one, and then maybe turn two or three, you want to start using the Sycamores or Birch. We do play the Life Center, Birch, and Sycamore. And we also play one Zerosic, and this is to help out against the Toad. Mirror match, if there is one, you can discard a tool or special energy attached to Pokemon in play and discard it, which is great here. And also, you can, like, discard a Focus Ash and then do, like, pop your Focus Ash but not knock it off. And you can, like, uh, Zerosu get attached to Muscle Man and not send it out that way. We do play three Silent Lab here because, you know, there's Shaman, there's Unknowns. Uh, I think that's, like, the main. There's Hoopa. So that way you can shut down all these basic Pokemon uh, with the have abilities that are really, like, set up decks. And that way you can, once again, help beat the Vessel Queen deck. So not only do we play the Enhanced Hammer, not only do we play the Sound Lab, those, those also, like, slow down. We play the Zerosic as well to, like, help slow down these Vessel Queen decks. Uh, because they are so fast here, but with Enhanced Hammer, the Zerosic, Sound Lab, we are sh shutting them down some. And also, we play the Focus Ash. We've heard me talk about it over and over again with this deck here. If the fighting Pokemon this card is attached to has full HP and to be knocked out by damage from an opponent's stack, that Pokemon is not knocked out and its remaining HP becomes 10 instead, then discard this card. And this is the reason why Hippaladon is so much better than Regice. Because what your opponent can do against Regice is slice through the Regice and knock it out early game. But with Hippaladon, they need to play a Megaphone and then Life Center up and knock it out to actually take a knockout on Hippaladon. But with Focus Ash, they, they can't take a knockout on it unless they play the Megaphone, like I said here, which is great here. Uh, so you can also use your Focus Ash to put down your Hippaladons. And that way, Vessel Queen actually has to two-shot you. So Vessel Queen is two-shotting you while you are one-shotting them with the Flare on out and play, which is great here. So you can knock out two Vessel Queens while they are knocking out just one hip out on. Um, and usually when you do that with the Enhanced Hammers and the, uh, and the Zeroskis, you can easily just win the matchup. It comes down to if they play Megaphone, if they play Blacksmith, and if they play um, Blacksmith, Megaphone. I feel like I'm missing something else that they could play here. Uh, and I guess Flareon is like a blacksmith to it. There's something else I, I was like, I knew they should play. Um, but maybe like a Zerusic as well. So that way they can get rid of the Focus Ash. Because uh, without it, they can't. Oh, Hex Maniac. That's what it is. If they play Hex Maniac or not, to shut down the Flareon so that way we can't use the uh, the Flare effect here. Uh, that could hurt us a lot as well. So those are three things there. Uh, the Hex Maniac, the Megaphone, and the Blacksmith. Those are three things that can actually ruin this deck and probably give it a hard time against Vessel Queen here. You still play two Muscle Band to do 20 more damage with Toad. Maybe with Hippodon, you need that extra 20 damage. Um, if they do, like, pop off a Focus Ash, like, they, like, hit you for a bunch, knock it off, and that way you can, like, if you already have, like, 60, like, you have 6 Strong Energy, and now you have a Muscle Band, 6, 8, 10, that's a knockout on Vesper Queen as well. If you don't have Flare on out, uh, there's so many options to knock out Flare on here. Two Head Ringer, just to slow down the EX Pokemon more. This is more for the Sidestone Mirror match. I'm not sure how relevant that is anymore, but Giratina is still a card to look out for. So Headringer could go into Giratina to slow that down even more. Uh, four Strong Energy, four DC, and four Fighting Energies. Oh, and that's another reason why I play Enhanced Hammers and these Rosix to slow down the Giratinas. Like I said, that's another deck you do have to worry about for because they make it where you can't put down tools, special energies. Uh, you can't put down the stadiums, which is bad there. Uh, but overall, this deck is really, really strong. I still love Hippadon. A lot of people are not testing it, and I don't know why. It's a really, really good deck, and if you have the time, t take you know test that hip out on, see if you like it or not. Maybe my list is not perfect. Like I said, you could cut the Ace Trainer for something else. Uh, maybe a second Zerosic or a Battle Compressor. I'm not sure, uh, but hopefully you do this video, and let's see the deck connection. Alrighty, so we're playing against Draco Physics. I guess that's how you say his name here. Uh, tells they are going first. Alrighty, see a mulligan from my end. Another mulligan. Alright, so we start Toad. We got the Eevee. And we also have a DCE as well. I'm not going to put the Eevee down just right now because they can. Just license up the Eevee. There is a Shaman and a Manetric. Alrighty, there's a Battle Compressor here. Now, if this is some kind of Manetric deck, uh, as long as it doesn't play Reg Ice, we have a shot. Uh, the Reg Ice still not a problem though because we can. Uh, it can't one shot us. While we can, uh, like we're two-shotting each other, so that's pretty fair. Uh, they receive, okay, so he, oh, there's a Hoopa, okay, there's a Bronzor. Alrighty, uh, so some kind of metal deck, okay. Um, 
Now, this might actually be hard. Okay, there's a Mega Rayquaza, there's a Rayquaza, and a Mega Manetric. It's going to depend on if he plays any 90x attackers. Um, so here we get a Headringer onto the Rayquaza. We get a DC onto the Toad, Muscle Bandit, and we're just going to Quake a Punch for 50. We really don't have much, but hopefully we can draw into our Enhanced Tamers, get these DCs off this Mega Rayquaza here. Uh, there we see a Mega Manetric come out. And there we get a Zerosic, so we can discard the DC here, and we can just Quake a Punch for 50. Right now, it just looks like we're playing a Toad deck, which is not fun at all, but this is the power of Toad. But once we load up a, uh, what is it? A, a, uh, oh, no, we still can't, still can't see the discard piles. Um, I had a glitch yesterday where I can't see discard piles, and it seems like it's still affecting us here. Uh, my time is going down. I'm, I guess I'm just not going to get disc powers ever again. Uh, it's some kind of glitch I'm having right now. I don't know if I need to un uninstall it and install the game or not. Um, but as long as we get a hit pad on with the focus dash ready to go, we should be able to win this matchup because right now he has five, like, just EX Pokemon on the field uh, with non, uh, with no non EX attackers here. So we're just hoping that my game kicks back in. Just give it a second. Hopefully it will come back on. Uh, just waiting here. I, I I don't know why I can't see discard piles. I guess I I need to look into how to fix that. It has been happening for the past couple days here. Um, just waiting here. How's y'all's Tuesday? Uh, there we go. There we go. All right, so our turn here. I'll uh, put down the EV. We'll just uh we'll just sick him more here. I think that'd be okay. Uh, still don't have anything really. Uh, we get a silent lob down, and here we'll just quake a punch for fifty. Taking two prize cards. Alrighty. Uh, we still only have a Sycamore. Where's our Karina's at? We played four of those. Uh, there's the Skyfield coming down. There's a Heatran. Now, Heatran is definitely a problem because Heatran can, like, just smack us over and over again with Steel Drop. Um, let's see if he has anything else. There's a Bronzon coming down. Uh, there's a Metal Energy going uh, going down to the Rayquaza. Now, what we could do is actually knock out this Mega Manetric with a Silent Lab and a Hip... And a, um, Let's see, six. We need a strong energy and a muscle man to actually knock it out. Six, eight, ten. Nope, never mind. That doesn't knock it out either. Uh, but we can't put a fighting energy on it. And I can't really... Ah, uh, don't do that. Stop looking at the discard piles. All right, so a quick punch here for 50. All righty. Um, as long as he doesn't get a lightning energy out, we should be okay. There's another mega, another Rayquaza coming down. A Hex Maniac. And okay. Still nothing. I guess we'll just uh, quick punch for 50. All righty. Um, just the power of, um, of Toad, just quake a punching. <clears throat> there we see a Life Center bringing up the Eevee. We have a Fighting Energy in hand. We can just retreat it. Uh, there we get another Halucha. Put down the Fighting Energy here. Retreat into the Toad. Uh, put down the other Halucha in here. We'll just quake a punch for another 50. I'm never going to use, like, Halucha unless I really need to. Like, we could at any moment right now bring up the Halucha and knock out the Mega Manetric. There we see Aegislash coming up to the Axe Spot here. Um, do we have anything in our discard pile? I think it's just, um, I think it's just Juniper. Oh, this is Zerosic. I'm not sure how helpful that's going to be. Um, uh, but we'll put it in our hand in here. We'll just Quake a Punch for nothing, really. Just saying, if you have a DCE, I'm going to Zerosic it off. I didn't, I, I assumed there was nothing in our discard pile. Um, there we get an Ultra Ball. So with the Ultra Ball, we can discard, uh, the H Trainer. And I guess the Zerosic, uh, we'll discard a DC, that should be okay here. I'll uh, we'll grab a Hippo Potato, put down the Hippo Potato, put a Fighting Energy on it, and here we'll just Quake a Punch for nothing. Uh, we need our Silent Labs for sure to start hitting this Aegis Slash. I know we put one down, I'm not sure how many else we played here. Just another pass to my opponents here. We get a Hip Out on, we get another Fighting Energy here. And we'll just Quake a Punch here. Now, whenever he does knock out the side stone, we can just start using Resistance Desert. Uh, like I said, the heat trend is the only thing I'm really worried about. There's a lightning energy going on to Mega Manetric. Strong energy. Uh, we'll put another hippo hippo potato down, put a strong energy on it. And then next turn, we're actually going to Verse Seeker for a Juniper. Um, I mean, Verse Seeker for a Sycamore. We know we have that in the hand. We have the DC as well. So might as well commit to that while we can. There we see a metal energy going on to Mega Quaza. DC on the hippo potato. And here we will Sycamore. Alrighty. Uh, get a head ringer on this Manetric. Focus Sash, a Hippadon. And uh, we'll put down the Silent Lab, and here he'll have to discard uh, one Pokemon. He'll probably discard the Mega Manetric. Um, there's a Hoopa. Let's see if he discards the Mega Manetric or not. He might actually need that a lot. Uh, hopefully, yep. Oh, nope, he discards the Heatran. Alrighty, I love that. Uh, here we'll put down the Flareon as well. And here we'll put the Quagga Punch for 50. Alright. 
Now, with the heat trend gone, we should be okay here. Uh, another Skyfield coming down. Oh, man. I was going to uh, Karina for a switch and knock out the Aegis Slash since we would be fire type. Alrighty, there we see a pass my opponent here. Uh, we get an E Hammer, not that useful. Here, I'm just going to Karina. And we'll grab a Hip Out on. And another Focus Sash. That seems fine. Put the focus sash on this hip 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 potato. Put down the hip pad on, and here we're just quick punch once again for ah. Uh, we don't have a sound lab out. I forgot about that. Alrighty. Um. There's another pass. My opponent here. He doesn't really have anything. Oh, we get a Lysander top deck. All right. Um. I'm not sure how great that is though. What do we need to Lysander up? If we Lysander the Mega Manetric, he can just retreat it. I'm actually more con like more tempting to knock out this Bronzong right now. Uh, but we're just gonna verse seeker. For Karina. Play the Karina, and here we're gonna grab a uh, Halucha Share. We'll just discard it. And we'll grab a Switch. I wanna see how many Sound Labs are in the deck as well. Uh, let's see here. How many Sound Labs are in here? No more Sound Labs. Oh, great. Alright. Uh, so we'll just hit done there. And here we'll just Quake a Punch. What I'm gonna do next turn is uh, switch into Mega, uh, switch into the Hippowdon, license of the Mega Manetric, take a knockout on it, and hopefully we're drawn to a Sound Lab. Um, that's, sh yeah, well, so, we're oh, we can actually put down the Halucha, I forgot about that. Um, oh, you put down a, D a DCE here, so that's great, we can discard that. Switch into the Hippowdon, uh, we'll send the one with the strong energy in. License of the Mega Manetric, and here we'll just resist this desert for 160 there, taking a knockout, taking two prize cards. And there's our Silent Lab, if he does promote the Aegis Slash here, we can't just put down the Silent Lab and Aegis Slash here. But what he might do is send the Rayquaza, um, now he can play all of his item cards, but that's fine. We're ready to go here, as long as he doesn't like Sacred Dash and get back Heatran, and even if he does do that, I think we'll be okay to win here. As long as we can top deck a Verse Seeker or another Lysander, I'm not sure what we played, because we can't see our discard pile, which is great. Great for us. I don't like I said before. I don't know if it's some kind of glitch or not. Um, this is definitely some kind of weird bronze on deck with Mega Manetric. I've never really seen anything like this before here. Um, we'll see what he does here. Now he can't actually hurt this hit on anymore because of the Resistance Desert making where EX Pokemon cannot hurt him. Uh, they receive the Mega Rayquaza come to the Axe Spot here. A good license or something up. There's a Spear Link going down Rayquaza. Um, uh, let's see here. There's a DC come down to the Mega Arcosa here. He can't hurt us, but he could life center somebody up and take a take a hit on him, which is fine if he does that. We're just looking, we're just hoping to hit a um a verse seeker for next turn. We can life center up the Aegis Slash, put down Silent Lab, and knock it out. Uh, there we see a Sacred Ash. Oh man. Oh, please don't get back. All right, cool. He doesn't get back the Heatran. Uh, I guess my opponent just doesn't know what the deck does here. There was an Ultra Ball. Oh, no, I didn't. No, no, I no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, man. Uh, hopefully it doesn't glitch us out here. Um, yep, now we're going to wait here. It's going to be a minute here. But if he has a second Heatran, that could be very, uh, real, ma ma a real reason why he didn't do that is because maybe he plays a second Heatran. I'm not 100% sure. Even with the second Heatran, I would definitely just Sacred Dash. Back in the heat train, that's our biggest weakness there. I mean, Bronzog might be a little bit troublesome because it can't hit us for 60. Uh, there we see Hoopa, Shaman, Mega Rayquaza, Manetric, uh, Verse Seeker, Lysander, Lysander up a Toad. Take a knock on it. I'm fine with that. I uh, will set up a Halucha here. Let's see what we draw to. Verse Seeker. Um, nope. I'll put down the Halucha. Put a Fighting Energy on one of them. And here we'll just play the Birch. Uh, hopefully we flip heads here. Nope, Tails. All right. Uh, we get a Focus Ash on a Halucha. Retreat into the Hippowdon with the strong energy. And here we will just resist this desert uh, for 60. Maybe I should attach the strong energy here. I don't I don't think I attached one last turn. Oh, man. Our hand got worse. All right. Now we need to that Sycamore that's in our hand here. Um, there we see a Metal Energy going on to the Aegis Slash. Not really worried about that as well. Um... So like I said, there's another verse seeker grabbing Lysander here. He will need uh, consecutive Lysanders over and over again to take knockouts. As long as he doesn't bring up the, uh, well, now we can just Lysander anything up. We can knock out the, the Manetric EX here uh, because we have the Resistance Desert 6-8. Or we could use the Double Edge as well. There we see Lysander bring it up the Halucha, 210 to the Halucha. We'll set up another Halucha here. There's a Professor Letter. We'll just play it to get cards out of our deck here. Uh, oh no, our next card was going to be a verse seeker. Alright, we do have a Shaman left, we do have an Ultra Ball, and we do have a Verse Seeker. 
Um, and we do have a life standard. So the prob probability of us hitting a next turn is pretty good here. Uh, as long as we don't whiff. A strong energy here. Retreat into the Hippowdon. And uh, we'll resist this desert for 80. Um, and actually, next turn, we can use Double Edge to knock it out as well. Um, double Edge will do 100, 120, 140, and then minus 20, 120 there. Or we can use Halotra to knock it out. Uh, there's so many options we have here next turn. As long, Well, I mean, it doesn't matter if he likes into the Flare on anymore because we can't just uh, bring up anybody. There we see the Mega Quads coming in Axe Spot here. Uh, Metalinks onto this Aedislash here. Uh, DC Attachment. Switch into the Aegislash. It's not going to hurt us here, which is great for us. Uh, put a strong energy on this hip out on. And here we're looking for the Birch. We're looking for the Silent Lab, and there we go. And there's a Silent Lab, and here we will just uh, use Double Edge to knock it out because we are Flareon, uh, which is great here. We are a Fire type, and the Silent Lab gets rid of the Aegislash. So here we're Double Edge for 280, taking a knockout on the Aegislash here and beating. The, uh, the metal deck with like Rayquaza, Manetric, Hoopa, Lugia, and everything like that. But you kind of see the combo like a lot in this deck. How you use Toad in the act like in the starting game. And you slowly set up Hippowdons on the bench while you're just quaking punching them there. Quaking punching them. Which is probably not the fun of a strategy. But once you do that and you have like two Hippowdons ready to go. You can easily win almost any game. As long as they don't play multiple 90x attackers. If they do, you're just going to have to quaking punch all the 90x attackers. Or knockouts to knock them all out. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Alrighty, so we're putting against Alex Wilson, Texas. I guess he is from Texas here. Alrighty, heads, you are going first this game here. And let's see, what are we starting with here? Uh, there's a mulligan. Alright, we start how Lucha. We start Hippo Potato. We actually have a really, really good turn one. As long as Professor Letter is not prized here, uh, we could... Uh, well, I don't know. Let's see what he starts here. Let's see what he starts. Alright, so he has two Pokemon. He takes a Mulligan, of course. And there's a Joltik and a Combi. Um, so here, Karina. Looking for... We'll get another Hippo, hippo Potato. <clears throat> we could go for a... Uh, a Size Toe this turn. But I don't think it's that worth it. I'm just looking for a Professor Letter. Here, we'll just Professor Letter for just one energy. And that way, we can serve the DCEs. Uh, put that down here. Put down the Hippo Potato. Um, Shaman drawn up to two. We're looking for an Ultra Ball here. There we go. Ultra Ball, Double Sycamore. Here we're going to grab an Eevee. Uh, so we have the Flareon ready to go. Put down the Eevee. And here we'll just end our turn. And then hopefully next turn he doesn't have a Lysander. Bring up this hip Hippo Potato. There we see a Battle Compressor. Um, if he does go that route, we can. Like I said, go for a Toad to put a DC on it and the Quaker Punch. And that can slow him down a lot as well. Um, Night March and Vesta Queen decks are usually a good matchup here. Uh, there we see a Battle Compressor here. I'm not going to look at his Discard Pile because I think it's going to be glitched again. The big question here, it's going to depend on if he plays Blacksmith or not. Uh, because we have the Zero Six, we have the Enhanced Hammers, we have multiple outs to get rid of his DCEs, which is great for us. Uh, there we see another Ultra Ball here. Probably grabbing a Shaman. Not to get guess. Or an Unknown, that works as well. If we had the Sound Lab, there's a Dimension Valley Shaman up to six. Yeah, if we had a Sound Lab turn one, that would destroy him. Uh, there we see an unknown discarding a card, drawn one. Did he whip a DC this turn? That'd be crazy. Oh, nope, there's a DC. All right, so 200 to our Hollucha here. I'm just going to promote the hip Hippo Potato, and we'll see what happens here. Uh, get down the hip out on. Enhanced Hammer, discarding the DCE. Burst Seeker for a Sycamore. Uh, play it. All righty, now this is a problem we have now. Because if he has a D, uh, uh, an energy, he can knock us out here. Uh, so here we'll just resist the desert for 120. Taking a knockout here. But like I said, if he does... Um, if he has... Uh, DC, a Vest Ves Queen and DC, he will take a knockout here, which is pretty bad. Uh, because we don't have another Hippowdon ready to go. We didn't get that Focus Sash down. And they we see another Vest Queen coming down as well. Uh... There we see a Sycamore, okay. And let's see, did he whiff the DCE? There's a Battle Compressor here. We also whiffed the Sound Lab. If we got a Sound Lab, we could shut down his Unknowns and Shamans as well. Um, so we'll have to see what happens here. I wish, like, Hippo, Hippo Batas did more damage. Like, 20 is nothing. So we'll just wait and see what the Battle Compressor does. Hopefully he whiffs the DCE here, and then we can get down the Flareon, and we can take a knockout on the Vespa Queen here. There's an Unknown... Farewell letter. 
Let's see. There's a oh, an ultra ball is gonna grab him a shaman. Yep. So shaman for three here. Oh man, shaman for five. Okay. Did he please with the DC? Uh, nope. There's the DC there. All right. Well, he actually used intelligence gathering here. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Did he use intelligence gathering? I think that's what just happened there. Um, uh, if that's what happened, he probably missed right there. Uh, strong in his air, Professor Birch. Ed's looking for a Flareon. That's not a Flareon. All right, so um, Headringer onto a Shaman. Sure, why not? <sighs> we whiffed the Flareon. All righty. And here we'll just resist the desert for um, after 60. Man, I can't believe. I mean, we only played two Ultra Balls. I'm not sure how many we've played. I know we've played one at least. I'm still just kind of confused as what? why did he just only smack us for 10 there? Are we are we to grass? Or for 20, I guess he did use Intelligence Gathering. Um, but he didn't have 6 cards in his hand. They received 300 damage to our, uh, to our hip out on there. Uh, so instead of this hip out on, we are looking for a Focus Ash now. Uh, put a DC here, Karina. For another hip out on. And here we'll grab a Focus Sash. Alright. Uh, let's put the Focus Sash onto this guy. Put down the hip out on. And here we will just resist his desert for the knockout for 80. And now it makes it, if he does uh, have a DCE, he can't knock us out. He'll have to light center around this uh, hip hat on. As long as he doesn't have another Hex Maniac, we should be okay here. Uh, because if he doesn't have the Hex Maniac, we can put down a Flareon, evolve into Fire type. There we see a teammate here. So that's not a light center, which is great here. Unless he plays like Megaphone, then that could be very troublesome here. Alright, so 342 hip hat on here. So here, uh, we could like. Now, I want to set up another hip out on. That seems like the better play here. The big question, though, do we have another Ultra Ball in the deck or not? Um, I'm not sure, and I can't see my discard pile. I know it'll glitch if I do that. So here we'll switch into Halucha just to play it. Here we'll Verse Seeker for a... Um, let's see here. We can see our discard pile this way. There's one DCE. Okay, we've only played one Ultra Ball and one DCE, so we should be fine with just using Sycamore here. I think that'd be okay. So Sycamore here, there's the Flareon. We'll retreat it to the uh, Hippodon, and here we'll use Res... We'll actually put Sound Lab as well, just in case he plays something else. Resistance Desert here for 160, taking a knockout against the Vesper Queen here. That one turn where he used Intelligence Gathering, I think that's what he used, was probably the biggest misplay of his turn. Uh, maybe he thought we had a Focus Ash on our... Um, Best McQueen when we did it. Here we see Shaman coming up. It's going to use Sky Return here to knock us out. But who is he going to promote is the big question here. Because we can knock out everybody except the Shaman on the uh, on the bench here. Uh, because if he, if he promotes the Vesper Queen, uh, he actually doesn't do anything because of the Resistance Desert. So I don't know that my opponent didn't know what to do here. So DCE here. And we will just resist this desert for the knockout. Take another prize card. We have another Halucha ready to go here. I forgot. I always forget about the Sky Return. It doesn't hurt our Hippodons. And my opponent obviously forgot that too. Um, so there we go. Vesta Queen. It looks like it's struggling right now. I'm not sure what he could do here. So some people might say Vesta Queen is a hard matchup. I'm proving that it is not. Uh, like I said, maybe that one turn of him using Intelligence Gathering was probably the biggest misplay of the game. Uh, there we see a Vessel Queen coming up here. Now, even if he has a Hex Maniac, what we can do next turn is put another Strong Energy on the bench hip out on. I think that's a Strong Energy right there. Yeah, so we can hit him for 6, 8, 10, and actually just one shot the Vessel Queen that way. Alright, so it looks like we like we're look like we're in good shape here. As long as he doesn't have another Combi here, we should be okay. Oh, nope. Smoking too soon. There's a Combi coming down. It's gonna come down to does he play a megaphone or not? Uh, there's a Psyche Energy going down to Vessel Queen here. Uh, this will knock us out, though. That's a fair game. It will knock us out. There's 20 damage to our, our, our hip out on. Uh, you may draw cards. You have six. So I'm guessing he's opted not to draw the cards. I'm not sure. Uh, we get a strong energy on the hip out on. Muscle Band on Hall Lucha. Sure, why not? And here we'll just retreat into the hip out on. And here we'll use Resistance Desert. This will do 200 damage. Taking a price card. Now come down to does he play a Megaphone or not. If he plays a Megaphone here, he can discard the Focus Ash. Knock us out here. Um, but that's I don't think a lot of decks play Megaphones in these uh, Vessel Queen decks. If they do, I'd be really shocked here. So let's see what happens here. Does he have the Megaphone or not to discard the Focus Ash off the hip out on? 
Oh, man. And if he doesn't, we can just double edge for the knockout. Uh, there's a, Kobe, a Vessel King coming down. If he retreats into Shaman, we can just double edge for the knockout here. Uh, we have more cards left in our opponent. We have multiple energies to treat a Shaman or Flare on if he does life center them up. We have all the outs we have right now, unless he ace trainers us here. And then we still have outs. Uh, there's a life center bringing up the flare on, but like I said, we have a energy to retreat the flare on here. This is probably his only option to have. All right, so there we see he uh, thinks that we don't have it, but here we put a energy on the flare on, retreat to the pad on, and here we would use double edge. For the knockout, do a 280 damage to the poor little Vespa Queen there. And there we see the Hippadon deck beat the Vespa Queen deck, which a lot of people say that is an auto loss here. Uh, but with the Enhanced Hammers and Zerosic, I don't think we saw Zerosic at all. And we actually didn't have Sound Labs early enough. As you see right now, it's late in the game, and we have two Sound Labs in our hand here. So if we have those earlier than later, we can shut down the Shamans, the Unknown, and everything like that. This was a, like a Night March... Um, Vessel Queen deck, I'm not sure how great of a deck that is. Um, I'm not sure at all. I'm not sure what the best way to play Vessel Queen is in Standard. I don't think it's that great of a deck at all in Standard. But I could be wrong there. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Round 1, we saw us take down an EX deck and how easy it is to beat an EX deck. And round 2, we did beat a uh, Vessel Queen deck, which some people would say is the hardest matchup. But I proved there it's not. I mean, it's just like that one turn we use Intelligence Gathering instead of Be Revenge. I'm just, if he did that... He might have won. Like, I'm not going to lie. He might have would have won, and uh, we're just going to take those wins. We take those wins, for sure. We did 1,000 damage with Hippadon. That is pretty crazy. Uh, he did do the most damage, though, but he took the less prize cards uh, because a Focus Sash coming to clutch there. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. What heads do we flip on? I don't even know what heads, what, what coin flips we did. Uh, maybe when we started the game. Oh, and the Birch, I guess is what it is. Uh, maybe that was what it was. Birches, maybe. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. I think we're at like 3,030 something, which is amazing. Uh, we're at 303 right now with another number attached to it. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have a great Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye.